In the previous chapters, our main character received a reward of faith aura cultivation after he shocked everyone with his performance. Now we will continue the story with chapter 9, the latest chapter that has been released. So let's begin. <laughs> Now after he get his reward, the system said that faith cultivation occurred when he was surrounded by his followers and cultivated with them. The followers cultivation speed would be doubled and the aura cultivated by his followers would replenish him and his host. He wondered if that replenishment was good. He also said that there was no shortage of followers, but he wished he could get the great elder too. With that strength, the aura that replenished him would be even stronger. He jumped down to them and they were all amazed by him. He approached the great elder in a hurry and the elders were shocked. They had no idea what their patriarch was going to do. After he reached him, he greeted him and told him that he saw the night sky and the moonlight. He said it was particularly bright and the aura was abundant. He asked him to join him and said that maybe they could gain a lot. The elder said that there was no need because he had somewhere else to be. He thought that in the past, the moonlight was the same for him, and wondered what they could gain. All the members of their sect were happy and cheered for their patriarch, because they broke through. They couldn't believe it and thanked their patriarch for that. The elder was shocked and stunned and thought about what kind of luck they had to cultivate collectively. He said they also broke through like that. He changed his mind and decided to participate with them. He made some excuses, and said that since their patriarch had invited him so kindly, he couldn't refuse. Our MC was happy to hear that. Because of the excitement, the elder took the initiative to start cultivating and said that they would begin. Our MC looked at them and stood in the middle of them. The elder felt weird and asked why he didn't feel anything special. The disciples told him that he needed to shout that their patriarch was the coolest. He was angry to hear that and said that as the heavenly demonic sect's greet elder, he couldn't say such a shameless word. I thought he would stop there but he shouted so loud that their patriarch was the coolest. He gave up his pride by saying that, and he felt ashamed, but a bright light and an aura entered his body. He said that a double aura entered his body, and he became more energetic. He said the words again that their patriarch was the coolest. Our MC also started to cultivate. He said that because of the elder and the aura of the moonlight and the pearl, the power of faith would increase. He also said that the effect was indeed greater. He focused on cultivating. The elder was happy and seemed to become more meek. He said that with their patriarch there, the heavens had truly blessed their sect. He looked at him like that. After that night in the heavenly demonic palace, his wife was sitting quietly on her throne, waiting the great elder to start their meeting. Suddenly the elder jumped off there and asked for forgiveness because he was late that morning. She asked him why he was late and wanted to know what happened. He said that he followed their patriarch to cultivate at the Moonlight Cliff last night, so he was late because of that. The other elders next to him said that their patriarch was only at the Black Warrior Realm, so how could he join them when the gap was so high? They asked him like that. He said that they didn't understand, that he cultivated with the patriarch, and because of that the aura became more abundant and effective than usual. The other elders and the members of their sect listened to his explanation and became curious. They said to him that, Although he hadn't had a breakthrough yet, his aura had definitely consolidated. The others asked him to take them with him if he was going to cultivate with their patriarch. While they were talking about that, his wife said that her husband didn't come back all night and made such a fuss. She thought that and asked everyone to get back to their main topic. She said that the Tao conference was about to begin soon, so there would be countless geniuses coming to their sect, even if it was a friendly matter. She reminded them that the disciples of the heavenly demonic sect must not fall behind the others. She asked them if they understood that. They said they understood, and said that they wouldn't disappoint her. Three days later, all the genius cultivators were there at their sect. This girl said that she was from the Great Stone sect and greeted them. The other guy said that he was from the Splitting Mountain sect and pay respect too. And there were also other sects like the Heavenly Soaring sect and the Shadow Demonic sect. While seeing this, the disciple of heavenly demonic sect were surprised, and didn't expect that so many cultivators from the other sects had come to their conference this time. The guy next to him said that even the three great demonic geniuses were there. The genius of the heavenly soaring sect, Lingao, 
the chief disciple of the Demonic sect, Yin San Shi, and they said that there was a gossip that he was so vicious that he sloked her at a whole village on his own. But they said that the Shadow Demonic sect and their Heavenly Demonic sect had always been at odds, and it was difficult to say if he came to their conference with good intentions, or if there was something else brewing. While they were saying that, they suddenly turned around and smelled something good. The girl said that it was the Saint Yaochi. They were so shocked and couldn't help but look. They said that they had no dispute with anyone, and that they didn't come to the Empress's wedding either. They also said that this time, a saint had come. While Yaochi was going there, the member of the Heavenly Demonic Sect welcomed them and introduced himself as Li Chang Sheng, the one who would guide them to the conference stage. The girl saw so many people on the top of the cliff, and it caught her attention. She said to her senior brother that there were so many disciples of the Heavenly Demonic Sect, cultivating on the mountain peak over there from a distance. Li Cheng Sheng said to them that the person on the peak of the mountain was their patriarch, who was leading them to cultivate. The three of them reacted like this, and they seemed curious about him, and about the identity of that patriarch, the husband of the empress. Ling Ao said that it was just the spiritual realm, and that he couldn't even take care of himself. He wondered why he was leading others, and said that it was nonsense. On the cliff of the mountain, many disciples of their sect were happy again because they broke through once more. They didn't expect it and thanked their patriarch. The event was going to start, and the other sects were going there. Our MC also started to go there and said that this event was an opportunity to improve his skills, so how could he miss it? He went there hurriedly. On the conference stage, it seemed that it had started. There were two boulders that this guy was smashing. He said that the great mountain sect's power was infinite and asked him to guide him as his senior brother in the heavenly demonic sect. His senior brother replied that of course he would guide him, but this guy became like a hulk and released his full strength. He said that he would surely guide him and punch the rock. The rock shattered around because of that powerful punch. The great elder saw this and was happy. He said that they had an elite disciple, so they would definitely achieve a total victory in their conference. She said that he didn't need to rush to his conclusion, and that he didn't need to be too happy, because there were three most difficult opponents that hadn't taken the stage yet. While she was saying that, our MC suddenly showed up and asked her about the three most difficult opponents. He said to her to let him see them. While eating an apple, his wife looked at him seriously. This guy Yin Sanshi went to the stage and asked them if some of them were cultivating the Tao of Sword or the Tao of Music. He said to them that each path of the Tao had its own characteristics. He introduced himself and smiled at them. He said that he was Yin Sanshi and that he didn't care about any of them. He only wanted to talk about what the Tao was. They all said that the Shadow Demonic Sect was there to cause trouble. They wondered about that question because the Tao was truly mysterious and no one could solve it. Yin Sanshi asked if there was no one who could answer it. He said to them that for thousands of years, no one had thought of that. He said that today he would let the Heavenly Demonic Sect get on the stage and that if they could, they should get off. He smiled at them. His wife thought that it was said that if one understood even a bit of the Tao, they could break through without even cultivating. She said that the Shadow Demonic Sect had come prepared to take them down and to slander them at their own event. Their elders panicked and asked them what they were going to do to drive Yin Sanchi away for causing trouble to their sect. The great elder said that if they did that, their sect would lose face. He also said that the Shadow Demonic Sect was waiting for this opportunity to take them down. He asked him again what they should do and suggested that they admit defeat for today and let them slap them in the face like that. While they were arguing with each other, our MC, who was eating his apple, said to his wife, if all the shadow demonic sect disciples were sissies like that, and he also said that it was a pity, because he was just like a woman in men's clothes. I think he was referring to him as a woman who was talkative and always making trouble. While our MC slandered him and made him like a joke, Yin Sanchi was so angry and furious to him that he wanted to punch our MC's face and he wondered if that guy was the patriarch, the husband of the empress, and said that our MC was such a worthless man for the empress. He also said that it was a pity. Others also heard what our MC said to Yin Sanshi. They say that the most hateful thing that Yin Sanshi was hate is being called as a woman, and asking them of who is that crazy man that offend Yin Sanshi, because they say he will be in big trouble because of that. But Yin Sanshi didn't want to flatten out and say that no one in the entire heavenly demonic sect can answer him, 
like they're wasting their time on this conference, and say it was so pity. While our MC say to him while calling him a sissy that his question is so simple and not worthy of being asked at a Tao conference, while sitting there so calmly and relaxing while holding his apple. So that all for now guys, see you in the next chapters.